Hello friends today we are going to conduct an experiment on voltage regulating characteristics of zener diode for this experiment we need a breadboard a dc regulated power supply two dc voltmeters a resistance box a zener diode a 100 ohm resistance and some connecting cables and here is the circuit diagram which we need to make to perform this experiment so whatever part of this apparatus we will connect on the breadboard you will find that that part of this circuit will be highlighted just for the convenience i am naming these voltmeters as vi which is measuring input voltage vo which is measuring output voltage and rl which is the load resistance now at the beginning of this experiment we will make its connections so initially i am connecting the positive of our power supply with the horizontal line on our breadboard after that i am also connecting the negative of our power supply with another horizontal line on the breadboard now we can use this positive and negative at any part of the breadboard as per our convenience in this process you will also see that as we connected our power supply with the breadboard the symbol indicating the variable power supply has been highlighted in the circuit diagram now we are placing the resistance on the breadboard like this now we need to connect the zener diode on this breadboard but before adding zener diode on our breadboard we should know about its p and n side on a zener diode the right side is p and the left side with the black mark is n so we are placing this on the circuit board now we can connect the positive of our power supply to one end of the resistor as we can see in the circuit diagram as we know in this experiment the zener diode is in reverse bias so we will connect the p side of zener diode with the negative of power supply so in this way we have completed one part of our circuit now if we look at our circuit diagram carefully we will find that the voltmeter for input voltage vi is in parallel to the variable power supply so we can connect the positive of the voltmeter with the positive and negative of voltmeter with the negative of the power supply to measure the applied voltage by the power supply in some cases when you have a regulated power supply so they also have inbuilt voltmeters so in those cases you can skip this voltmeter and use the voltage reading given by the regulated power supply in the next step we can see that the load resistance is in parallel to the zener diode so we connect the two ends of the resistance box with the two ends of the zener diode similarly the voltmeter representing the output voltage vo is also in parallel with the load resistance or the zener diode so we also connect the positive of the voltmeter with the n side of the zener diode and the negative of the voltmeter with the p side of the zener diode so this is the complete circuit now at the place of rl apply 1 kilo ohm resistance and then switch on the power supply now you need to make a table of it so in this table in one column i have input voltage and in one column i have output voltage so as we are increasing the input voltage using our regulated power supply we will also observe an increase in output voltage but after reaching a certain limit we will find that that we have increased the input voltage but the output voltage is not increasing after a particular limit so now let us draw the observations we observed in this table so we will get a plot between input voltage versus output voltage and this plot will look like this in this plot the saturation output value is the zener voltage and from this we can interpret that the voltage drop across load resistance cannot be increased above this voltage so in this way our zener diode is regulating the voltage now in the second part of this experiment we come to our circuit again but in this time 
we will set our input voltage higher than the zener voltage we observed in last step let us consider in last step we observed a zener voltage of 4.7 volt so now we can set our dc power supply to a value like 5 volt or 6 volt or something like this which is above the zener voltage now we will start changing our load resistance and will observe the corresponding output voltage and make a table of it so in this table in one column we are increasing the resistance using this resistance box which is the load resistance and the output voltage will also vary with this so on plotting this we will get a curve like this so in this curve we can see that the saturation voltage is the same as the zener voltage and the minimum load resistance after which it can regulate voltage is shown as RL minimum in this way the voltage regulation characteristics of a Zener diode can be defined using these two plots. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.